Well, good morning. I am here at Dolly Flats. This is where I spent the night. I just finished taking down my tent. I'm um, talking a little quiet because there's still a hiker back there. He's still crashed out. But what a beautiful spot um, that this is. There's plenty of tenting. Even um, back up in there, there was more tenting. There was like a I don't know, like a party of 10, like a baseball team. And we still had all of this space down here with plenty more tents that could have been set up. There is water that's across the trail on the other side and there's plenty of places to uh, to hang your food. But I'm gonna turn you around in just a minute. Um, I just wanted to come on here and say good morning. I have three miles down to uh, my car at station 19E. And, um, but I wanted to get on here and make sure that I took the time to show the campsite came over here and sat for a little bit by the fire last night because look at all the wonderful living room furniture that is set up here we were so comfortable <laughs> but uh, yeah so you come out of a flowery field and then right into camp so on my way out I'll take you there um, like I said I just want to and you see the leaving North Carolina sign so yes I got state number two down and Tennessee should not take as long for sure um, all right so let's uh let me, let me finish packing up here, and uh, then I'll take you for a forward video walk and of the beautiful field that I walked through yesterday, and then we'll start heading down the rest of the mountain. I think we got about a 2,000 foot descent over uh, three miles, so it's it's going to be a going to be a, a knee tester for sure. But uh, it's going to be a great day. It's a beautiful day. There's your water trail back there. Some good hanging rooms back there too. Yep, so this is Doll Flats. You walk the trail right there. And right before you, well, it's the field before Doll Flats. I don't know if they call it Doll Flats campsite. And then you hit your Leaving North Carolina. It's an absolutely stunning day today. See that big rock up there? Well, I don't know if you call it a rock. It's not one big rock. Maybe it is. I don't know. But yeah, I was just up there. I just came down and around from up there. Okay, 1,300 more feet to get down. Well, that's a pretty little spot. This is the water source after Doll Flats. Mm, I don't know. I don't know that I would want to go down there and get water. I heard some notes that it's a little bit of a steep down, but it sure is pretty, sounds pretty. We are gonna go that way. Look at the size of that fungi. There's some more up there, but that one, coming from the trail, it looks like a bird bath sticking off the side of a tree. I wish I was taller. Lazy boy, where are you at? You'd be able to get me a good picture. <laughs> it's crazy. How pretty this little guy is. He's only half, half bloomed. Here's another one. Oh, and you can't see as well. There's, they're like all sporadic, like down, but none of them are fully, fully bloomed all the way up. Hmm. Very cute. They're so cute. So I'm about two miles into Tennessee now. <laughs> Every mile I'm walking right now is in Tennessee, not Tennessee, North Carolina, Tennessee, North Carolina. And I'll tell you what, I got about a mile out of Doll Flats. It is definitely uh, a little bit, then a little bit of a different vibe. 
this last, I don't know, three quarters of a mile. Lots of animal smells, lots of, um, lots of activity of all different sizes in the woods. I haven't seen, I did see something medium and brown way up ahead of the trail, um, running down the trail. I don't know if it was possibly somebody's dog or what. It was like a light brown. But it definitely has a little bit of a different vibe in here. So I have, so I know I'm in somebody's backyard. Um, because I can smell it. And, uh, and I hear a lot. So it's a little, I don't know. Is this what Tennessee's going to be like? Uh, but I've been making a lot of noise, singing, uh, banging my poles together, um, talking. Uh, I'm about three quarters of a mile. There's a tent site and water source. And I'm like a half a mile down to 19E. So I'm just kind of being a little pain in the butt noisy hiker right now for the next three quarters of a mile until I'm sure I'm out of whoever lives here, which I'm really, I really don't get too nervous as long as I don't walk up on a mom and her cubs. Everything else, everything else doesn't want anything to do with me any more than I want to do with them. But uh, yeah, so definitely a little bit of a different vibe here um, going right into Tennessee. We'll see if that continues or if it's just uh, welcoming me into the state. I'm staying here at Black Bear Resort and I thought I would take you and show you around a little bit right now before it gets dark today, especially because tomorrow I'll be gone most of the day. Sunday's supposed to rain. So I wanted to try to get this done while the weather's still nice. So let me turn you around. They have one, two, three, four Creekside cabins. I am staying in the Grand Bob. So, but um, let's, I'll take you, kind of show you from the outside what they look like and then I'll take you inside mine and show you mine. So there's the Detroit. I'm staying in the Grand Bob, the Turtle Box, and the Vagabonds. And I believe the Vagabonds has a new porch off of the back of it that overlooks the creek. Um, there's one bathroom here that has bathroom and a shower. That one's locked, but B is open so that you have, um, you do have a bathroom right outside your cabin, which is nice. And then back here, um, I wanted to get into the creek today with my feet, but I didn't really would love to get in there with my knee. But um, yeah, they have steps in a couple different places that you can uh, go down and soak your feet if you want to. And they have quite a few different cabins and I'll link their website below so you can go in if you want to stay. Only 0.4 miles from the Dennis Cove um, trailhead along the AT. So, you can't beat the location. It's just really pretty and really relaxing. I actually switched my zero around and stayed an extra day and they have an extensive, extensive slack packing list of places. So, I mean, you can slack south and north of this all the way to Damascus. Um, so you can't beat this. So up here are some more cabins. And I don't know all the amenities that are in the different ones off of the top of my head. That's why I said I'll link the site below. And then you can go on and look. Um, but there's, so there's three cabins back in there. I mean, and what a beautiful place if you're going to have a family reunion or even just getting a bunch of families uh, together. There's an event hall up there. We'll see if we can get up to that too. Um, it's just a beautiful property though. It really is beautiful property. Linda's been awesome. Yeah, I mean the creek. The creek even runs down here. Plenty of places for you to pop down to the creek and stick your feet in the water. That's for sure. All right, let's go along the bridge. And they do have tent camping, RV camping, and most of that is up the hill. <clears throat> I will try to get up 
take a walk up there before I leave so that I can walk around a little bit. It's hard with my only day being rough, a rain day. So it'll just depend. But campfire's going. I mean, here's another house you can rent. Look at that. That one is called the Overlook. I mean, it's got a barbecue pit, table and chairs, an umbrella outside. They have basketball here for the kids. Plenty of picnic tables. I mean, um, there's the bunkhouse. I have not been in it. Oh, there's your bunk, Salisa. That's pretty nice, actually. It's pretty nice. And there's a camp store with enough for you to be able to do a full resupply. And again, you have another, I mean, there's just so much outdoor areas to relax. Here's picnic tables and benches. And I mean, there's another little step down to the creek there. This is the common area. And they have enough uh, DVDs to keep you busy for a while. TV, there's microwave, pizza cooker, hot plate, all of that kind of stuff for you to be able to keep your own food. There is a mini fridge here. So if you're here for a few days, you don't have a fridge in your cabin, certainly can get a few things. This is the other shower and bathhouse for the ladies. Has all the little goodies that you need to feel like a girl again after hiking. Northbound mile 420.2. All right, so let me go ahead and show you my cabin. And the grand bob. I can't remember why I picked this. I think because one of them... And Linda said this was one of the ones they had renovated. So I guess they're kind of renovating them and changing them a little bit. Um, and I think one of the ones that I looked at had like a bar seat in the table. And this one actually had a chair. And that was really what made me pick this one. In my cabin, I do have a mini fridge. I have, I don't know whether it's a full or queen. It doesn't matter. It's just me. Sorry. It's definitely, <laughs> you can see that I have exploded my pack. Especially now that I know that I'm going to be here a couple days. And, uh, but I have a table and a chair to sit at if I want to work on my PhD. <laughs> <While I'm here. laughs> and, uh, I have a nice rocking chair, which has been nice to sit and pull up in front. I just had my feet up out in the lawn and there is heat in here. It is propane. It is an additional cost if you need heat. Um, but I don't think I will need that. Yeah. There you go. There's the grand bob.